Insider. The Insider says that he was very excited about the article and he showed it to his family. The article said, a three mile wave is coming in and his family said, don't worry, it's not for another 50 years. And then he says, that 50 years has come and gone. And so the listener is thinking, hey, we're here folks, if he's right. At one minute and 14 seconds into the video, he says, they've been watching it, referring to the CIA. And then he stopped and he said, I watched it. Now that is not hearsay. That's firsthand testimony. I watched it. This is not a man speaking in the third person. He said, I watched it. How did he get access to uncensored streaming images from the Hubble Space Telescope? He has friends in the CIA. This shows you that the CIA are the privileged class and you are a dirtbag. <laughs> They're better than you. They deserve the safety of underground bunkers, and you don't. You deserve to die. You deserve to pay for those underground bunkers with your tax dollars. Now, isn't this a fair system? Why hasn't anyone else in the CIA come forward to tell us about this? Well, welcome everybody, CCTV. I'm Don't they care Pilsbury. about us? And uh, well, I, like it, that, I like that little rant. That was nice. Um, if you haven't been here, subscribe. And I'm going to do a little filtering. And what I do is I take stuff that is captured by the subs, subscribers, and me, and Ken, and Douglas, everybody. And I just start going through and filtering from the real shot, raw footage, to filtered. You can see I don't fake it. You could also see the stuff is real. The filters just bring out what's there. So it's like a little journey. Um, I have over 15,000 pictures in this folder. And like yesterday, I must have spent five hours filtering for the slideshow. So today I'm taking you with me. I don't know how long I'll be open, but 20 minutes into the show already. Shout it out. Let's try to get over 110 people. That was the most people I've had in this, in this um, live streaming that I've been doing. So I got a little music. My music I'm working on more internally. So you might hear that far off like a radio. That's fine. Um, you could also put your own music on. You don't even have to listen to me walk, talk um, because sometimes I just go mute and I just filter. Okay, so hang out. Let's go. It took me a couple tries to get my, uh, my filter open. It shows how much bandwidth it's using. So here we go. Let me get you on the same page. CCTV from the front page, and I'm also watching you from Coffee TV. So both of these areas. So let's go to work and uh, enjoy the music you can here. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. It's just piano. Kind of like this piano. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, we're up to 90 people. I think we're going to break my records there. Okay, let's cruise this thing. Um, let's find something to show you people. I'm just going to pick anything like I would do. And uh, let me show you. This is, um, this is a live shot, guys, from Alaska. I've already, I've already done a little. I think I did a little cropping on this, it looks like. Let me see if I can find the one with the date. But um, I'll get the best one. Now, there's nothing. It's been cropped, but there's nothing done to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to I have a, a I have a favorite uh, filter. I start out with was dehazing. So it's, I call it two suns. So I'm just going to dehaze that. Now, it brings out that object right there. And you think that's just a cloud, right? No, it's not just a cloud. So let's see if we can. See if we could bring it out for you. So in the dark you go. And that's just one shot right there. Now I have some preset filters and they're fun. Um, these are ones I've set up, these favorites. I've set them up myself. So these are ones I like to use real quick. A little bit more light on it. You see, you can see how two's moon or 
this was back in uh, August, I believe I caught this. Let's continue. So I have a lot of pictures, a lot of, it's not just clouds. Everybody says, well, it's just clouds. If you go to Samuel Hoffman's uh, channel, he has a thing, Understanding the Skies. Now, here's one I already filtered, and I think this one has some UFO shots. Yeah. I like these UFO shots, guys. Now I'm going to show you the original. Let's do the original. Okay. Let's break it down. I'll get a shot like this. I'll suspect that's UFOs, right? So I'll tell you what I do. Um, you guys keep shouting it out. I'm, I'm checking all the back offices right now. But I'll tell you what I do is I look at this. I go, you know, that's something going on. So then I take it up here. I do the dehaze. And I'm going to take the dehaze off. And that's the original shot. I'm going to do an auto correction. Okay. And that just gives you the true colors. And I'm going to go to the dehazing device right here. It's in the middle, zero. And I'm going to just start bringing stuff down. Now, right here, you can see the planet set up right there. Okay. And over here, you can see, I believe, it's some serious looking UFOs. I'm trying to get rid of that pixelation. Sometimes it's almost impossible with these cheap cameras or these cams you still got that planet right there so let's go on i don't want to get stuck on one thing i got too many pictures here's one already filtered here's before the filter well you say oh, the planet can't be that big chris i i think it can um i think the electromagnetic uh you know atmosphere and space around the earth and the magnetic sphere it keeps us from hitting it you know and uh that's why I say fear not. You know, God's in control of this thing. This is uh, May 12, 2019. Now, you can see the camera's having a hard time with this up here, like electromagnetic effect on the picture. I'm just going to throw a quick filter on that one to see what we got. It always brings it out nice. Sometimes, you know, now some of these are just raw pictures I never filtered before. Welcome all you new guys coming in. Um, I'm not actually looking at the chat, people. Here's a black and white I did of it. Okay, so you can definitely see the, the dark side right here of the planet. Now, I'll show you, and you might have seen this planet before, this, this video. I did. Right here and on the right, left. It's definitely uh, being cut off at the sun here. You know, if you just dehaze it. You get the true colors. I put it on auto correct on the colors. And you can see right here, the cutoff here, there's stuff going on. You can see it. Um, down here, you see the real color of the sky. And so people say, well, you're losing it like Dr. Albers has lost it. Someone asked me, are you going to lose it like Dr. Albers? I already lost it. I lost it years ago for Jesus. <laughs> Anybody knows me, they know I lost it for Jesus a long time ago. So I'm just showing you stuff in the sky. Um, and I'm just going through this filter. I'll find you some planets. Okay, here's some sun stuff. And I do, um, sometimes I'll do like rows of pictures. You're watching the bottom right there. I'm scanning through them. And I'll build these slow-mo videos out of like 18 clips. Um, so I was in this folder the other day for quite a while. Um, I saw this. And this right here, you know, it's getting too obvious. There's another one I saw right here, same day. You can see these things will sit in the sky sometimes. And here's a one I filtered already. Just to show you guys some of the stuff I've been doing. Some of this stuff will sit in the sky for eight hours, one cloud. I mean, this is the same picture, but, you know, I'm bringing the filter off of it. There's stuff over here going on. This has definitely been here for a while. Let's move on. And try to find good stuff with planets in it and I got it um, here's one the planet coming down can't see that now here you go I'll just bring you through this series of clips right here I got this picture on May 17th and I've gotten a number of these and so I blew it up and I put it on a maximizer it's not a zoom 
and it doesn't lose the pixelation. So I started blowing it up even more. And I love Matt Roger how he explains it. You know, I do this, people, because I care about waking people up. I care about people seeing something like that that they can't believe. That's not our moon. That is filtered. Let me check you guys out on the, on the other side. 81. All right. I'm keeping a few people here anyways. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Make sure you subscribe. So uh, as we go through these filtering pictures, you know, you can see the original clips like right here. I catch a ton of these. I've already cropped this one. And I'm going to take you through some just of the filters that I have. This is a dehazing filter I put together. Just brings it right out, right? This is one of my best shots, one of my favorite shots. And so I could just change out the filters to go darker and lighter to really get a good view of it. Let me do that for you. Check this out. I like this. It brings the yellow out. Now, I got it on autocorrect up here. And uh, boom. I took the autocorrect off. So now the autocorrect will take whatever color. Let me show you the original. See the original? The autocorrect, take it off. And uh, you see it just drops a little bit of the light. The autocorrect just brings the light up on the color, enhances the color a little bit. So in this picture, in reality, we're dealing with the purple sky. But you're seeing this. But the real colors in the sky are purple. Okay? So I put my volcano filter on it. When I have black and white filters, you could do x-ray. Here's a green one I like. Gives you a different perspective. And I, I believe you're looking at craters and stuff. You can see chunks of the planet. This is a real thing going on. You can see chunks of the planet just, you know, gone. So we got stuff in our skies uh, that we've been showing from NASA. Anybody see that from NASA? If you want to put the address up, okay it. Uh, from NASA, they're showing like hundreds of thousands of spaceships. Sorry, people. I had a small screen going there. But you guys see that, right? Hundreds of thousands. Warnings are going out all over the place. NASA's even throwing warnings up for us. Let's see what else I can find for you. So I never know how this show is going to go when I go spontaneous like this. I basically uh, kick everybody out of the living room. There's a five tower being built. This uh, I got this in August. I probably could go back to this location, see walk, and watch that whole tower. See all the brackets on it? I bet it's full. Anyways, back to planets. <laughs> I would have so much fun doing a conspiracy channel, people. Seriously. But like uh, I was instructed to do is this, to show you. You know, nobody's making nothing up. What is the light source? That's a little filter on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tweak it with a dehaze. Dehaze always brings the light down. So those are your true colors. You got two light sources right there. Purple indication, yellow on the bottom. Dark up here in the right-hand corner. You know, we're looking at real pitches in real time. Here's another one. I think it's the same area. Now, this is uh, Natak. I like this picture because it's just another proof. Double sunset. It just brings it out. More proof that there's stuff going on, folks. You know, you go to these channels and you'll see one picture. Um, one of the things I try to do is show you the whole sky. Um, sometimes it's not just a cloud. See that right there? Sometimes just a cloud has something beside it. What have we got there? Come on, that's a live catch. I didn't know that was there, folks. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we can do with it, all right? <laughs> see if I got skills. Can you hear my music? It's just a piano playing. Nice. Let's see if I could use one of my preset filters, what I get out of it. What do you guys think? Just a cloud? Okay, just a cloud. Let's see if it looks like just a cloud. That's too much white. 
I don't usually use any saturation, but sometimes it brings out the details. Okay, so I'm going to look at you guys' chat right now. <laughs> I'm losing people. What's happening? Anyways, what do you think? Just a cloud? Okay. Thumbs up if it's not a cloud. Thumbs up if it is a cloud. Either way. Um, I actually think that is something. Let me go back to my thing. I'm looking at you guys on the live stream. I'm about a half a minute off. Sometimes I forget to put my microphone back on and you know, flag me. <laughs> this is how I do it here, folks. This is it. Uh, let me show you some more. Hi, hey, everybody in the chat. Chat's really jamming, so I hope my moderators are doing a good job. Thank you, Shining, Garrison. You guys, it's cranking. I've never seen the chat that fast. Never. Sarah, I'm going to put it at an old man speed. They got a slow mo speed. I can put it on for myself. <laughs> okay, let me, get, let me go back to work. Okay. Anyways, I'm thinking UFO. What do you guys think? Um, this is what you're missing up here. Like, look, look. You're looking at the UFO, but what the heck? Okay, just a cloud, right? Let's go back to the original. Oh, there's the original, folks. Let's do a couple side-by-sides. I'm learning how to use this tool. Um, see, and I can do this for you. This is something new I found on my filters I didn't know I had. So what I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm just playing around. I, you know, I found that tool. And see the bottom? Changes the top to the original. I'm still convinced we can get a better shot out of that. Let's do it in purple blue wash. Oh, that's nice. Too much white. Anyways, I'm moving on. I'll get like Starship. Strucken. Well, I got to look at that cloud. Since I'm here, I'm looking at clouds. Now, I know this is something. Let's just do this. You guys see that? Do you guys see that? Okie dokie. Look at that. Oh, too much. No, no. Let's go back to the original. I'm going to dehaze it little by little. These motherships, they have stuff like that sticking out. Like this, this round object. Um, what I'm looking for is like thrusters or whatnot. I didn't plan on doing mothership clouds today, but I'm running into them. Look at that. Down there. Look at that. <clears throat> so I'm not losing my mind. I'm just having fun showing off my pictures. Um, like any of you would, if you knew how to do this, you would. Or if you had the computer, you would, you know. But I really like that object up there. I think it's something that's not normal. I'm going to go back to the original. So that's another shot. You got something here going on. You got this man-made looking object. Whatever that is, you got this. Looks like it's blowing out smoke there. But I, I've seen actually better ones than this. You got two lower areas right here. I mean, you're talking uh, crazy UFOs. You lose 10 people at a time, I guess. <laughs> it's okay because some of us got to show it, you know. That's a mother craft if I've ever seen one. And if you haven't been paying attention to NASA, they just showed thousands of ships coming this way. Look at that little orb sitting there. I could probably get better shots on this. Nah, that's too dark. See right there is a little man-made looking object. So each filter has its own character of bringing something out. Um... That's trippy looking. They have a lot of fun filters I don't really care about. Um, some of them are really good. No one has a little diamond effect. See, this one has little diamond blur effects. I don't like using those. 
This one right here, I like the chill effect. You can see stuff happening right here and here. Anyways, if you can't see that, it's okay. Sometimes this is August 2019, so yeah, people get all, that's old footage, Chris. Well, old footage that was never shown is new footage. Welcome, welcome to CCTV. So I'm here just, you know, hoping to wake a few people up, tell you about Jesus loving you. I'm all about Jesus, not religion. Okay, you want to plan it? Here we go. I got one for you. I knew I'd run into one. See that right there? That's a planet coming down. So let's see what we could do on our filters. I'm going to close a lot of these filters up. I don't use a lot of these filters. Fun to go through them, though. Um, I want you to see this planet. I can see it clear of my eyes. I don't even need a filter. There's one filter. <clears throat> let's just back it out of that filter. What we're looking at, this is a lens flare. You actually have a planet down here. You see the clouds, how they're going like this? And you got that blue in there. Right? So let's just see what we could do with that. You guys following, I hope. You guys are having a good chat over there. I'm, I'm about a minute lag time, so I'm actually watching me. I got the sound down, but I'm actually watching me on the CCTV. And I'm filming from Coffee, actually. But anyways, um, let's try a couple of the other filters. You could see it come out. You say, well, that's just the sky. Now, that's another planet behind it. These planets are layered. I don't have the Hoffman model right in front of me. But um, I don't think he wants me to give too many shout outs to him. He's trying to hide. I don't usually use any hue. I'm going to take the blacks off. I had the blacks turned way up. It's going to bring the blacks up so you can really make a distinction. Let's try highlights. So I, a lot of times I don't know what's going to work to really bring it out. What do you guys think? Planet coming down. Let's just go look and see if I got another picture of that. Now here's your before and after shot. Same thing, planet coming down. Just an auto, auto color right there. Just made it actually a little bit darker. And you see the yellows reflecting, the purple reflecting. Um, it could be a moon right there. Now that I look at that close up. See how it's a, a purple distinction? It could be part of a purple planet coming up. So anyways, um, let's continue. I'm going to run this for a while on the left with the green. Purple on the bottom, blue on the right. Yellow over here could be a moon. It is that big. Now, let's go into the bigger filters. I'm going to bring your contrast. I'm going to bring the exposure up a little bit. So I'm just taking you slow. Here's your planet. Different cloud system on the planet. We're getting rain from these planets. I think the purple planet here brings a lot of rain. And this is just stuff I heard Samuel Hoffman talk about. Uh, different people that follow this model. That there's going to be a lot of rain. And like it's been raining here for five days. Now you see up here, the green and the purple. There's a, you know, you got this light source. And we're facing east at 1,400 hours. So 2 o'clock in the afternoon east. And this is uh, Alaska, Coven, Alaska. that make sense to you guys what I'm showing you? <laughs> I'm looking at the chat right now. I kind of just rambling and going on and on. Um, let me just keep going because I'm looking at the lag time too. So what I'm saying right now, you won't hear for a minute. But um, check this out. Uh, I'll bring the blacks up. Make it brighter. You don't have to make it up when it's already there. I'm going to bring the whites up, see what I get. And a little bit of exposure back down. So what I try to perfect is actually you separate, and you can see the distinction, uh, this cloud that whips around right here. Here's your distinction, but the difference of it. 
you can still see it in the shot but you really see it without the clouds and all and you see the true colors I take the autocorrect off it doesn't change it much right so the true colors are still there green yellow green yellow till purple all signs of the planet uh, let me do this while you guys look at this for a minute I'm gonna go see if I can find this page from Samuel Hoffman okay By the time I find it, <clears throat> probably the lag time, I'm just talking in real time right now. Because <laughs> I want you guys to understand uh, what's really going on. Still looking okay I think I got it give me ten give me a second give me a second Hang on, people. I'm coming. I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to go and, and show you a few things. I know it's been a long-awaited uh, video. I had not been able to get to it. I've been dealing with a lot of the fire smoke issues and <clears throat> the kids and all sorts of other stuff. And I figured I'd give you guys a heads up. Here's the, uh, the older drawing from uh, 1014 October and 2017 and this is what was going on now i've got a lot more stuff in the in the in the thing today uh, or in this drawing excuse me um because i wanted to give everybody the heads up of what's going on near the sun because there's a lot of objects that we don't generally talk about but those of you guys who are on top of it you can figure out what i'm what i'm showing the cube's been sighted an awful lot So now check this out. This is from 2017. It's just positioned a little bit different. Right now we're seeing Atu's moon giant. But what he's explaining here is how these planets are coming in stacked up. So when I show you stuff like um, like this right here, you could also see how big it actually matches. See, but right now they're huge. And like this might not even be the sun, actually. Um, this could be Atu, the big white planet. This is definitely Nebiru, and over here, right? So, I'll take you back over there and let, let Samuel go for a minute and let you hear him. Lately, and Tim has been sighted a lot lately. Lead object's been fantastically huge. The object cluster group, there's been a lot of really phenomenal pictures coming in. Uh, there's been some huge changes. Uh, of course, Atu's white moon has been desperately on the scene, and I, I truly believe that's what's causing the effect on the tides on the oceans, and the increase in earthquakes, all sorts of extreme weather. Um, I, my friend and I were out in, in Clinton, Montana, and I got the opportunity to drive all the way through Missoula and then back down to Lolo. And I saw the show of my life where I saw the bottom of Atu's moon. I was looking directly up underneath it because it was so close. It was like a huge planet balloon floating just above my town over the top of Missoula. And I got a pretty clear sighting of it on the first day that it came in the way that it did on a close pass. And I'd like to get to that and I'll, I'll discuss what's going on with that in with, with the cutouts. And So anyway, I'd like to give you a heads up because this is a fast transition. There's been a lot of changes 
Nana and, and Melsaru are showing indications of signs. There is the blue tool star visibility of the blue that's been next to the sun a lot lately. This is, of course, changed depending on your point of view and where your angle is. So this is always a little bit different than the actual drawing, but the placement is generally the same. And this is, of course, in reference to... So as you can see there, I wanted to show you that little diagram. It's 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 three years later. There is a current one. He puts them out every month on Facebook. It's uh, Montana Sky Watchers. A little shout out for Samuel Hoffman. But I want you people to see that it's not just like, come on, Chris, it can't be this big. It's actually bigger than what he showed. He's showing it three years ago coming in. So you guys see, right? Like, it's no joke. It's serious. It's real. And I'm going to show you more. I could show you enough. I can show you enough right now. You walk around here just shaking your head. Your coronavirus won't even scare you because there's just too much going on. See, while you're looking at coronavirus right now, NASA is warning us. Here's another picture of it. I'm just going to go through some pictures, see how it comes down. There's actually an object. And you go, well, that's light. Yeah, but the object is like in here. There's actually one there and one there. They come in stacked up. Okay, here's a picture of a sun. Everybody wants to see this, something by the sun, then they call it a sun lens, but it's not. This could be like the uh, one of the planets. It's not Nemesis. It could be a lens flare, um, but it's definitely something there. You know, as I bring it down, bring the light down, you can see it more and more. You see that? Find something live real time. I'll go live with it. I don't care. I don't know who this is. I got YouTube on with the McCoy stuff, and it's just running. Copyright, no copyright. Others. The show must go on, folks. Just got to go on. Let me see what else I can find for you. Smoke and mirrors, right? That's just crazy, isn't it? Here's one I haven't filtered. Um, let's do a little dehazing. A little darker. Dehaze. So here we go. This is what you see with your naked eye up here. This is what you see. All right, guys. Time to do me a shout out. We got 65 people going back up again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Jesus is returning. Get ready. I'm showing the skies. We're watching and praying. I'm doing a little, having a little filter fun. Um, I didn't put no filter on that yet, but this one's already been filtered. I'm just going to go darker just for the fun of it. Hey, we could have fun. Nobody says you got to be serious all the time. You know? Hey, a little green. Spice your day up. That's a real planet. I'm just playing around with it, you know. Let's go on. All right, I guess I'll show you the full picture. You can always snapshot a picture of this, put it on your Facebook. I don't care. I'd do it on yours, probably. <laughs> this is back in May. I did a lot of captions. I'm in the May folder, I guess. No, I'm going to put an auto correct on there. It just changes it a little bit. It is fun. I like that green filter. But that is a real object, folks. Real as they come. This is one of my favorite filter right there. The volcano filter. That's the original. And that's the volcano filter. So this is real. Are you prepared? Are you spiritually prepared? As Matt Rogers was saying today, you got stuff in order, stuff happening. Are you just afraid and just talking about all the fear? Now, you know, you want to give fear legs to attack you, then just keep talking about it. Because fear likes when you're afraid. That one's already filtered. I won't, I won't bore you with that. Okay, we're looking for a big planet, right? So we've looked at Samuel Hoffman's material. 
Uh, there's a site if you want to go check it out later. Um, he'll show you the new ones on the Montana Skywatchers over in uh, Facebook. So Sarah Lou's a little bit purple. Yuri, Yuri's really white. Uh, Atu is really big right now. But as you see this purple, dark Nibiru is dark bluish purple, more bluish. And then Atu is really purple. So let me see if that came through okay with you guys. Yeah, it, it came through. So, okay, so let's go back. Um, just want to show you the purple and how it is. The red now is over the sun. I showed you that one picture just a minute ago. Let me flip you back over. Okay, so there you go again. You can see the purple planet. It's as real as day, people. Um, I actually think it's more the bigger, the bigger, not the lesser. I actually think um, that red planet's right up in there. And this right here is Atu's moon, maybe. Now, a lot of times, Yuri, see how that's coming down up there. Anyways, let's move on. Um, I spent some time on that because I really want you guys to see it and not think I'm just making some silly thing out of my imagination. I couldn't believe this when I started seeing this stuff, you know? I was like, oh my God, this is for real. There you go. You want to see weirdness on the cloud right there. They have names for every cloud. They make names up as we go along in life, you know? What you think of that? Let's just put a dehaze real fast. Simple filter. And you new guys, I could do these shows up to four hours. I try to keep them under two hours. Um, it's just amazing. What's in your skies? So you can see the green. Now let's do auto color. What's really going on in this sky is you got some oxide looking clouds. This is the real true colors, guys. Here's the original. What's really in the sky is these colors. Okay, this is just dehazing it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the original. Okay. This is the original shot right there. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how we get to the dehazing part of this. Now, there's no dehazing. The dehazing takes out all the chemtrails, all the fog in the sky, and kind of brings it in nice, right? You don't have a lot of noise, which is the little pixelation stuff, but I'm going to make it just nicer. That no illusion what I'm seeing on the tip of that cloud, is it? That and that and that pink. Put an auto correction. Ready? Look, this is real. This is real. These are light sources right there. I learned about light sources. Now we're facing north. It's at uh, approximately four or five o'clock. You got the green opacity. This is 2019 in August. I'm just, it doesn't matter about the dates. So if you're caught up on, well, that's not current. Well, can you imagine what that would look like now if you've seen it? Let's just go. Um, you guys, I'm hanging tough. I got to see this every day, but I love doing this right here with this UFO looking thing. <laughs> I'm going to go through some, some simple filters, see if we can clear it up. No, I won't. Let's go back to this. I'm going to bring the blacks down. I'm going to bring the blacks down. A lot of times I bring the blacks, you could actually see planets come out. Increase the shadowing. Now, I got a question. If that was the sun just shining on this cloud and on this area and this area, why isn't it shining on the rest of this cloud, right? <clears throat> got it? Now, this white hazy stuff is because of filters on this pole. It's just up close. Anyways, I thought that was a pretty cool shot. Matter of fact, I'm going to take a, a baby picture of that. I don't do a lot of saving pictures. Um, but a simple fact that I got so many pictures, but I do save them as I go right back in the same folder too. So those folders are just filled for slideshows. 
Well, if you guys are enjoying this, yeah, 50 people in the room. Do a little, little check. Somebody said, why are you so concerned about thumbs up and subscribing? Because I want a lot of people to see that at the end what I'm showing you. So thumbs up, subscribe. If you want to leave a tip, a uh, description, not in this description, but I'll get it on there. Uh, as a PayPal account, um, super chats on there, whatever. I don't ask for money. God's my source. I, I, I figured out a long time ago, if I'm depending on YouTube, I'm on a broke. I'm not depending on YouTube. I'm depending on God. Anyways, if you do want to tip me, some way we'll, we'll figure it out. And a little clarity. So that's just, I thought that was worthy to catch. I like the green going on over here, guys. Just total artwork here to me. This, I do believe, is something right there. Anyways, let's move along. Little doggies, little move around. You guys are not sheepies. You guys are the last day watchers of the sky. <laughs> Look at that. See that? I'm not going to mess with it. It's too easy. I already got filters on this one. Yeah, I like that one. Anyway, some of them already got filters, so it's a, a quick view. Here's a big old something, something going on here, right? I'll tell you what. Look at this picture. <clears throat> Let's go look for a preset filter. This is August again. Just going to dehaze it. Auto-correct it. Okay. I mean, I don't know about you, but there's something coming in right there. See that? That's something coming in. Coming, coming in. I'm going to save that. It's so pretty. You can really see what you got there. That might be a craft. I don't know. It's crazy, right? All right, moving right along. <laughs> yeah, I'll go show you this for a second. <laughs> I, well, I don't even have the original of that. I got so freaked out when I found it. <laughs> it's just cruising. Oh, here's one night. Here's a nice one. Little tire tracks in the sky. Here's the original. Um, see that big old square thing right there? Look at that, folks. This is the big old bad thing happening right there. What is that? What is that? Yeah. See the guns on top of it? Oh, yeah. My imagination go crazy with this thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm crazy. There's a flying saucer right there. I've seen these things way up, and I, I actually think, you know, as crazy as this sounds, because, you know, none of, I got no facts on none of this. This is just the sky pictures, right? But that's like, um, you know, Sky cruiser. It's like an aircraft carrier. Woo! Baby, that's what I'm talking about. It's just trippy looking. So I don't know what it is, but it's fun to do it. This one's got two dark spots. Now you can say, okay, this could be a planet. Let's just do a fast dehaze. That could be a planet. That could be a planet. And this one up here could be a planet. But, you know, you're not Elon Musk. You ain't up there flying around. So, you know, um, it could be spiritual. It could be natural. It could be both, spiritual and natural. So, you know, it's up to you. Um, if your mind's open and you research it enough, like anytime you want to take these pictures and research them. Um, so you got a little red hand, purple hand over there. You got this dark thing. So we go to the uh, original right there. Just bring in the view, bring in the view. Let's see what else I can find. If I'm going to be crazy for Jesus and show planets, I'm going to be all I can for Jesus. I'm going to show you the best planets. Oh, I like this guy. It's got a little bit of a cobalt sci-fi May 30th, 2019. Don't, don't get all aggro about not being, you know, Brand new, you caught these this morning, Chris. A lot of these pictures, you guys never seen them. That's something right there. If you don't believe it, look at it. And what's above it? I wish I could clear that up. Yeah, that's a kind of UFO -y thing, huh? That's planet for you. What? 
I'm going to show you this filter I got, and I don't use it a lot. And I only show it to my, my, my special friends that hang out, 43 of you. I'm going to use this filter just to show you what I can do with it. But I don't know about this little UFO satellite thing up there. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hook this thing, see if I could do a, a radio granite filter. Put a little feather on it. Let's just do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to harness that little hole as precise as I can get it. You guys tell me by thumbs up how good I'm doing on this. And you could actually make something out of nothing. So I hope everybody don't find these filters because you could do a lot of cheating. I don't do any cheating. I don't even do this unless I do it in front of you. People say, well, that's just ruining your show. No, I'm just being honest. Now, watch what I do. I could, I could bring the exposure down. If we could cut through the surface of that dog, let's contrast the heck out of it. Let's add some blacks to it. So it's in front of that cloud. So you can't make this up. Anyways, I'm not saying nothing's nothing, but you know. Just trying to get it right. Because I see the planet. I want you to see what I actually see before I even did this. Now, I don't know what this thing up here is. It's like a little satellite, but you can't get a, a shot at it. Some cameras, you just get a lot of pixelation like that. That's kind of what you're looking at right there. All I did was enlighten it. See this little craft here? That's interesting, huh? I might go on your side, see what you guys think about that. <laughs> Hi, Psalms. Hi, Shiny. What's up? You guys doing good on the room? 52 people, you're hanging tall. But you guys see that little satellite? I'm on your side now talking. I'm probably about a minute off. But that's a pretty insane looking thing, ain't it? <laughs> So thank you guys for all coming today. I got 88 thumbs up, Sarah. That's bad. That's sick. How does the world call that? That's, I mean, I used to say badass, but sorry. <laughs> sorry, Lord. Um, Bible, what's up? So I'm bringing it out. There's a little satellite. I'm going to go to that little satellite. That's like a little satellite or something right in front of that planet thing. All right, let's see what else I got here. This is what you get for hunting the skies too much. You get a lot of footage. Um, I guess I'm doing a lot of UFO clouds. Check this one out. I know that's a UFO cloud. I'm not going to go there. Uh, I got to go there. Get a little cloud up there. Don't think it's real? Let me show you. Look at some of these right here, down here, saucers. I'll just show you one filter. I can't resist. Come on, guys. I'm addicted. Apocalyptic skies now. Look at that. That's just taking the dehaze. Here you go, dehaze. No, that's not dehaze, sorry. I'll denoise it and get rid of some of that stupid stuff up there. Oh, yeah. Nah, those are not flying saucers flying around. Nah. So it looks like Star Trek up there. All right, moving along. Last phase. Filtering the skies real time. Here's a planet. Booyah! Got me a planet. Let's see how fast I can... June 2019. This is footage some of you guys seen. Most of you guys haven't. There you go. You know, uh, final days. Everybody shows stuff like this. But did they tell you about the UFO right there? Ha <laughs> ha! You like that, huh? All right. So they don't tell you about the UFO. That's a UFO. That's a UFO. But 
after seeing him, I would have never thought that was a UFO, but I've seen him fly away from these planets way too much. Real planet. Filters just help us a little bit. Let's see what else I can find. I try not to show the same stuff too quick over and over. You know, sometimes it's just so much I just get stuck. That's how I get my pictures. Real time, doing a live show of my peoples. Let you study this one for a second. See if you see something I see. And that's just like seven o'clock at night, five, six o'clock at night. See this right here on the side? Like a little Borg in a cloud, huh? I think a lot of these. I never, never used to say that, but I think a lot, a lot of these are deception. See a little dark spot right there. That's a cool, pretty cool picture, folks. Um, we are at CCTV. This is Chris speaking. We have been live for an hour and a half. I think I'll find you one more planet, and then I'm going to come back to night live hunting in real time. This is just kind of a filter show we do together spontaneously. When uh, they had that three-day warning video I wanted you to see. Keep watching that where I find something else in my massive gallery. <laughs> Never thought in my life. I'd have this many crazy pictures of this crazy event. I'm serious lag time on everything on a computer. I know I got to shut down pretty soon. Usually it's lightning fast. It's, it's just running hot. Yeah, it's getting real hot. I'll tell you what, folks. I'm going to... I'm going to shut it down. Thank you all, 85 of you that came in at one time. I think I went up to 102. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down now, and I will be back after I find something live. If you find something live, Laura, Doug, anybody that's out there that has a cam, you find something live, Sarah, that's in real time, that's a phenomenal anomaly, I will go live, okay? And so you guys that don't know me or are new here, first time stopping by, Subscribe, chat, share, show it, show it on Facebook, take clips. You got my permission. Will not copyright you. And uh, got Jesus. Because that's the number one prep I tell you about all the time. Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Whosoever calls on the name of Jesus shall be saved. Oh, you're going to be crying and repenting when you see size fireballs like buses coming through. And uh, we just got a three-day warning on this video, folks. So I kind of laugh a lot because I'm joyful when all tribulation and trials come, testings. It's to count it all joy. So I really am laughing because I think it's funny that I get to live in the most exciting end time world scenario better than any sci-fi picture you ever saw a show. I mean, you're going to see stuff that you could tell people in heaven about for a thousand years, millennial eons, you know, that I was part of the rapture. I was part of the end time scenario on earth, you know, and uh, you'll be telling your grandkids stories. So. Anyways, that my rant, my end time rant. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Um, and be blessed, be safe. And don't worry, Corona's just a demon, rebuke it. We fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and spiritual wickedness in high places, which I just showed you. So in Jesus' name, bind them up and keep going on with life. Wear your mask, because that's the law. Talk to you later. God, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, I'm losing my mind.